Okay. Hi everybody, it's Amy. I'm here at Infinity Med Spa and I'm with Jasmine. Hi everyone. And Jasmine's the owner. This is a gorgeous new med spa located in Sudbury. If you haven't been here yet, you definitely need to check it out. Jasmine, do you want to just say a quick little bit about Infinity? <laughs> well, Infinity, we have been around for a few months now. We opened up November 3rd and we offer all kinds of great services from bioidentical hormones to Botox fillers, IV therapy, vampire services, HCG diet, um, a lot of fun. Um, it's all about being well inside and outside. So awesome. we want you to make sure you feel good so we can make everyone around us feel good, right? Awesome, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right. And speaking of feeling good, I'm here today to receive a bioidentical hormone therapy treatment. Um, I've actually found over the years, I'm, I'm 43 now, but I've found over the years that my energy level's really gone down. I've noticed um, just my energy isn't there, and I've also had a lot of other side effects of being older, and I'm really excited about receiving this treatment today. Um, my number one reason is to boost my energy level in a very natural and safe way. So I'm actually going to introduce you to Melissa here in a moment who's going to be doing my treatment today and she's going to tell a little bit more about this treatment and what it does maybe just a couple quick minutes and then we'll be showing you the treatment. So definitely um, stay tuned and you'll see the treatment actually being done. So they're going to be uh, taking tiny pellets and inserting them into my skin in my back area um, so you'll get to actually see the treatment being done today so stay tuned and I'm going to show you a quick picture of Infinity Med Spa it's absolutely gorgeous um, talk about attention to detail this place is just amazing uh, the way they have it decorated and the feel they actually are serving um, rainwater here so if you are anywhere near Sudbury or anywhere in the New England area it's definitely worth a trip to Infinity Med Med Spa in Sudbury to check out this gorgeous place and get some wonderful services done. So I'm going to take you with me to visit uh, Melissa and our wonderful woman, camera woman Carol is going to be helping us <laughs> film in a couple minutes here as well. So Melissa, do you mind? Uh, Hi everybody, how are you doing? Do you mind telling them a little bit about um, the treatment today? Um, sure. Um, so today uh, Miss Amy is getting um, bioidentical hormones. This is her second round. So basically we're going to be putting in um, testosterone pellets. Um, basically, um, bioidentical hormones, it's been around for literally decades. They've been doing it since the like, 1930s. Um, and what happens is it's just a way of kind of just getting your body back into like a nice normal um, pattern of aging. Again, as I was speaking to Amy earlier, there's nothing wrong with um, the aging process. Again, we lose hormones. Literally from the age of 20 years old, we start to, it starts to deplete like your estrogen, um, progesterone, your testosterone levels. But what if there's a way that you could do something to kind of slow down that process and just kind of replenish what your body has in a natural, healthy, and pretty much risk-free um, way. Um, and that's what we're doing for Amy today. Yeah. Um, so, if I would say, um, you know, it's definitely something worth trying. It's definitely something that you don't really hear about a lot, but the more that it's coming out, um, a lot of evidence-based practice studies and things like that are just proving how it's really reversing um, symptoms that, especially women that are going through menopause, um, are, you know, you don't have to suffer with the hot flashes, the moodiness, the weight gain, things like that. If you, if there's something that you can do that's natural, and also those fears of like cancers and things like that, we can diminish that. Um, actually tonight, literally from six to eight, we have a seminar speaking about it. So oh, if you're in the cool. area, you're more than welcome to come by. Very cool. Um, but also you're welcome to call and we'll talk about consultation and kind of go in more detail about it. Yeah. But honestly, it's definitely something that I would highly recommend for women and men because you guys are suffering too. Um, <laughs> And just like, you know, from, again, from ages 20 and up, um, you know, it's it's something that you're doing that's preventative. It's only helping you in the future. Um, and just have an enjoyable, um, healthier life. And like their slogan, you know, live a happier, healthier, and better quality of awesome. life. Awesome. Very right. cool. Good. So uh, <laughs> Melissa is going to get me set up here. I'm going to mm -hmm. turn you over to our lovely um, videographer. I'm going to just switch the camera around. Okay. So sure. now, so um, Melissa's gonna get me all set up. I can talk a little bit more. While okay. Getting me set up, if that's okay with you. So I'm just gonna um, close. Which side? Just... Are you gonna do the same side as so, before? No. So we Different alternate. Side. Just because okay. you know, I don't want to bruise your booty too much. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to be over here, Carol, yeah, that will be perfect. Like if you want to stand uh, over yep. here. Yep. So this time, last time you did the opposite side. I did right? this side. Okay. So I'm gonna do this side. So, you're gonna so I'm gonna be. 
Are you going to be over here or over here? Well, you're going to look towards this way, so you're going to... So I'm going to be like facing that? Facing there, yep. Because so, this side we're going to do. So, yeah. Okay. Yep, so then are you going to be where you are? No, no, I'm going to move all the stuff here. There? I'm just going to get you in the position for Okay, the so then I guess, Carol, you can, you'll be over here. Over here. I'm sorry. No problem. <laughs> oh, I move as, I move as you guys move. <laughs> so one thing that, and just stop me, Melissa, if no you need to tell me to move or reposition, um, but one thing I definitely found is when I got, you know, into my 40s, I definitely noticed, you know, not just my energy level, but I noticed more moodiness. Um, I was very tired. I definitely noticed, um, you know, sexual side effects. So the great thing uh, with the hormone therapy is that it can definitely help. Um, I feel like it's similar to, like, if you've had an O shot before, like the vampire treatments, um, any PRP therapy for, you know, O shot. Um, it can just really help improve your, um, you know, sexual sexual experience so that there you don't have dryness. It actually helps with incontin incontinence yeah, as yeah. well, and um, you know, just overall health. So I think as women, you know, we need that because we're all busy. We're doing a million things. So yeah, and there's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. I know we spend all this money on getting our lawns done and buying that new car. So what's wrong with you know taking care of this aesthetic? You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> So, you know, don't be ashamed if you want to do something good for yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. So I'm just going to put this up a little more. Okay. And are you comfortable? Well, yeah. So yep. let me just have you. First and foremost, we're okay. just going to yep. this part. All right. Actually, I'll do that, and then I'll get back on the bed. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> well. And you're going to, like, will you put a drape over there? So yeah, do you give him, like, a, okay. So is it, like, a disclaimer? They know that. <laughs> There might be some skin showing. There must be a little skin. <laughs> nothing too, nothing, it'll be, it'll be PG. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to have you straighten the bottom leg. If you straighten the bottom leg. The there we go. Like that? Okay. And then just going to tilt over a little bit. Yeah, I think can you're, you're going to cover me up a little and then you can show them the yep. actual. This treatment, I had it one other time before and it was so easy and so painless and really quick and um you know sometimes i feel like with these treatments you have um you would have a little anxiety the first time before you do it but here at infinity they're just such professionals and they do such a great job and they just made me feel comfortable every step of the way um, actually what they do is they have you um they have you go get your some labs done at a local lab place near where you live or work you get those done, I think it's at least a week or two weeks prior to your first treatment. Right, Melissa? Yeah, and if you're if you're uncomfortable, you can always come, we draw, can draw labs right here too for you, so. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. They get your labs done, so everything is very scientific with the, the treatment and the system that they use, so they can actually tell from your labs what your body needs and what your body's missing, and um, they customize it. It's all very customized for each person based on what their body needs or what their body's missing. Um, for me, I think, what's the what's the level of testosterone that most women want to see? What, like 200 to 300? Um, we try to get it between 150 and 200, um, 250 the highest. Because um, usually, pe but everyone's different, honestly, it's a whole different. Some people, they come in for a boost, and we can always discuss that later on. And, you know, it even goes exceedingly past that. Um, but again, it's all through monitoring. and But usually we try to stay between 150 and 250. Am I in a good position here? Like well, I'm going to have you kind of... Have me kind of roll over? Do you want a pillow right here? Uh, sure, yeah, yes. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Thank Is that you. too low? No, nope, that's great. Is that okay? okay? Or do you want me to be more like that? Well, I just need you to come. What, no, you want to put the... <laughs> Keep I'm the worst like patient. No, 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 okay. girl, please. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. So I just want to make sure. Um, so this is roughly where I'm going to. Great. Okay. So that's good. Don't, you comfy, cozy? I'm cozy. Yeah. I'm comfy. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to, I just opened up the test out. So that's what I'm literally going to put inside of it, the two pellets, the soft one pellets. They're really tiny, as you can see, like barely as big as a, you know, what, like a piece of rice. So it's really tiny. I think you've seen it before. Yeah. So I just want to make sure I have that out. Oh, so what I was going to say is the first time I had my labs done, so an average woman, you're supposed to be at like 150, oh, 200, yeah, yeah. and my testosterone was at zero, and... Well, no, I'm sorry. Let me correct that. So when you're doing this, optimizing your hormones, 
that's what we try to range for. But usually ten thousand love is between for a woman's like fifteen to forty. But that's if you know the natural aging process. But again, what we're trying to do is kind of you know supersede that and kind of do things where um you are kind of like slowing down the aging process um and by doing that like you know higher levels of testosterone which is very protective um so plenty of studies can um show um how you know having optimal levels of testosterone and then she's not getting any estrogen therapy today because you know she has an intact uterus and there's other different factors and she's still menstruating but again if you're a woman that's had a hysterectomy or um you've pretty much been um, postmenopausal things like that then, the, then we look into like you know est adding estrogen and also progesterone and things like that. But for intensive purposes, um, usually women, um, depending on your age range, um, your testosterone levels between like um, fifteen to uh, fifteen to forty. Um, but as you age, etc. And so with Miss Amy, if you don't care if I mention it, um, her level is literally um, less than three, and she's a you know forty three year old vibrant woman. Like she has a lot of energy, honestly. Like she got me running up and running. <laughs> So it was, uh, um, so when she initially came in, you know, it was probably surprising to you. Yeah. Um, I mean, my husband was like, I don't know how you're even getting out of bed in the morning with that <laughs> level of testosterone. Well, we compensate a lot of times. Yeah. You're, you know, I don't know if you're a coffee drinker yeah. or if you're like, um, for me, I have a lot of energy, you know, so I, I do B12, things like that. But that's a whole nother conversation. But we all, a lot of times we're compensating with other things and we're not keeping in mind that, um, you know, what if we just fix the foundation mm -hmm. and then let's see, you know, then we can kick out all the other stuff that, you know, probably is causing a hindrance in our lives. Yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to do is um, I'm going to clean this site because I want to numb her in the area. So and pretty much I just apply like a, a little um, anesthetic, pretty much just lidocaine. Ooh. Which I'll be right back. I did go. <laughs> I was amazed the last time I had this treatment done, I couldn't feel a thing. So they um, do a local injection of lidocaine, and it numbs the area. And then when they're insert, they make a small incision and they put the pellets in. So Melissa will show you in a minute how quick and easy it is. But I was nervous. You know, the first time you have a treatment done, it's like, oh, what is this going to be like? They're going to be injecting something into my butt <laughs> or my back. Um, so. It went really quick and you just made me feel like a little bit of pressure and I was nervous if I was gonna have to like really be careful of the area so that you know but it was pretty good like I, I could resume to my normal activity pretty much right away um, I think you can't work out for a few days right yeah so three days after you you know from the moment that you kind of were all set with the procedure you don't want to do any exercise and like well, anything that you're straining an no upper squats, body works right? up, but nothing where you're you know going up plenty of stairs squatting any extensive workouts because again you don't want to be you don't want to increase the risk of um, the pellet shifting um, so that's why you definitely want to be cautious in terms of what you're doing but other than that after the three days oh and also not going you know saunas or anything like that because you know risk of infection not saunas I'm sorry um, like swimming pool exactly or hot tubs and things like yeah. that So now I'm just, I just mix um, lidocaine with sodium bicarbonate because it's a little bit of a sting when it comes in. Okay. Um, and then just to mark the area. So and just tilt over a little yep. bit. So not too much, but. Okay. So the sodium bicarb helps to not really make you feel the sting of the lidocaine so much when it enters. Exactly. I'm, I mean, you'll feel at first, but it kind of makes it, it kind of um, buffers it a little bit for you. So it's not as bad. But it makes the procedure go a little bit. So I'm just gonna, okay. I'm just gonna make a little double, okay? I'm gonna feel a little pinch. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yep. And then we'll see the discomfort or anything, okay? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that was a piece of cake. Bad at all. You're gonna make me hungry again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's while that's like numbing and everything else, I'm just gonna set up my tool here. Okay. I'm just cleansing it with the core press. So from I what I heard, people usually get this treatment done 
anywhere from every, what, three to five months, three to four months? Yep, everyone's different. Um, again, men, for women, it's every three to four months. It could be sooner depending on your activity level. If you're a hardcore athlete, you know, it's actually. Okay. Same thing with estrogen and things like that, then it could be every two months. Um, or if you're not really that active and you just kind of want, you know, help to alleviate patient, um, symptoms, you can go as far as like four months. Five months would be pushing it. For men, it's four to five, and the same kind of idea. You can come sooner if you're more active. Um, okay. So now I'm just going to create a little incision. Okay. So let me know if you feel this, okay? No? I feel your hand touching my back. Oh, okay, but you but don't that's feel it. All right. <laughs> then we're, we're ready to work. So I'm just creating like a little tiny incision, that's all. There we go. And then I'm just going to put the troll card in. And this is like the little tool to help get the pellets in. Let me know if I'm hurting you, okay? Mm -hmm. So does it go down into the dermal layer or down into the muscle? No, it doesn't go in the muscle. How, no, how uh, deep does it go? It pretty much, pr probably just as close as it can to the muscle. Um, so the but sub it's more subdermal? Yes. But not too deep because I know it's when you're being active and things like that, we don't want to interfere with that. So now I'm there and you're doing fine all right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I'm taking one short time. I'm putting the other one to help put it in. Now I'm literally going to insert in the pelvis. You might feel a little because I'm just going to push it in, okay? Pretty much done. Wow, that was, I felt nothing. Yeah, and it's, it goes by really quick. Yeah, it was really if quick. If anything, it's, you get more, if it's your first time, you're probably nervous just hearing about it. That's what it was. Good. I was, I think it was like the anticipation of not knowing what to expect. And, mm -hmm. you know, you think, oh, I'm going to have a little incision in the back. Am I, is it going to hurt? Or, you know. So, do you put, you don't even stitch it up, right? You just yep. use like a steri strip? Now I'm putting in, um, a few steri strips on the side just because I want to make sure that um, you know keep the site intact. Because again, we did make that small incision, so yep. I have to make sure that um, it's going to close up. Which again, it literally, we put the dressing on. You keep the top dressing on. You'll keep on for 24 hours. These steri strips you'll keep on until they fall off on their own. So you can shower tomorrow, um, take the dressing off, but just don't take the steri strips off. Mm -hmm. And I like to put a lot because. And then I'm just going to put the top dressing on. And then I can get you an ice pack if you want. Okay. But it's basically just helps uh, with any swelling that you may experience. So remind me again, how long does it take the average person to start feeling the results after? Um, again, everyone's different. It could be as early as like, you know, two weeks, a week, two weeks. Can I oh, get up? Hold on. Oh. Let me, let me uh, lower this for you. <laughs> you so don't need any access. So you, usually it's like a week. A week, or and so. then other people could take, um, you know, everyone's different. But again, like I said to you, um, the earliest could be a week. Um, some people take it on the second round. But it also, different things come into play depending on what medications you're currently on. Um, if you're, um, you know, your symptoms, things like that, age, a lot of All factors coming in play. Can but I get up? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. I was trying to lower this one. Okay. No, this is perfect. Thank you. Okay. All right. So go. that's so that's good. Um, so, yeah. So let me get that's you awesome. ice pack. So actually, let me just ask you. So if somebody is watching and they want to get more information about getting the procedure done here or 
they're thinking they might be interested in getting it done, what would you recommend for them to do? Well, call us here at Infinity. The number is 978-579-4092. Or check out our website, um, Infinity Med Meds infinitymedicalspa.com um, and I'm sure she'll link it on the bottom of this video um, and honestly just call up um, again we have monthly seminars on this again we have one tonight we also will have it again in um, March and then so every month so if it's something that you're not sure of you, you know you kind of still have questions about it you know what the heck just come in ask and find out you know your knowledge is power so the more that you know the more that you're empowering yourself to make the right decision that's best for you you know what I mean again in in this day and age where there's so much information going around you want to make sure that you're empowering yourself with the right kind that is also going to help benefit benefit you in the right way yeah that's so, great yeah. good well thank you for joining us and i will keep you posted on my progress and thank you for um watching have a great rest of your day thank you thank you